Well, top it by winning a conference championship. Uh, that hasn't been done around here in, uh, in quite a while. And so we talk about that as a team. Our goal is to win a conference championship. I think the last time was 1991. So that, to me, is more important than an overall record. Uh, and that's what this team will set as a goal and will shoot for. What's your read on the running back? And what do you, what do you see out of that? Well, I'll tell you, Tyler, start with him, real shifty, athletic. Uh, I like what I see. We can do a lot of things uh, out of the backfield, whether he's back there running the football downhill, whether he's uh, motioning out, he's a good receiver, uh, those uh, types of things. Um, um, Jason Simpson's a big, strong back. Uh, he, uh, he runs well. Jalen is a strong back as well. He hasn't played much here. Uh, Alvin, uh, recruit from Hartnell, Salinas coming in, uh, hasn't played football in a year. So uh, we, we've got a, a multitude of running backs. It's, it's assessing what they can do. Uh, you know, we, we, ideally, you have the complete package, a guy who can do everything and pass protect as well, catch the ball out of the backfield. But uh, yeah, it's really assessing those guys. Are you kind of a guy who likes to stick with a one primary back or you kind of mix it in with a... Yeah, I like to go with the hot hand. If a guy's running the ball physically, I think my style of play, I like the physical uh, style of football. I like to have a physical team. I think it creates, instills toughness in the defense as well if the offense can run the ball. Uh, so I like that, but I also like the athletic side. You can do a lot of things with the running back, um, split, split, spread them out and uh, run routes and, and those types of things. So, yeah, real uh, looking forward. It's a good group. And our, our system's not that far off, really, from, from what's been done here. It's a, I'd, I'd summarize our system as a pro-style offense, uh, much like you see up the freeway at the, at the, of the two pro teams and, and uh, that Pac-12 school up the freeway as well. Uh, pro-style, you see some two-backs, some one-backs. Uh, all of that, um, and I think um, it's uh, multiple formations, shifts, motions, all those things. So it keeps the defense at bay where they can't hone in and uh, and and know exactly what you're doing. We do. I love the tight end factor, and and that's a question: Will we have those guys? Um, and if if we feel we don't, we won't force that issue. Uh, but it's a big part of our spring is assessing the tight end position and the fullback position. Uh, alluding Jimmy to your question earlier as well, you know, the, those are a couple of positions we really need to evaluate and see where we're at. Yeah. Hey, who are the tight ends? You know, right now it's open. It's very, it's all very much open at the tight end spot uh, to see who those guys are. Uh, um, yeah, yeah.